Now let us discuss about min term and max term in Boolean algebra. Min term means a product term. Product means we will perform an operation that contains all the variables. Let us take an example. Let we have two variables such as a and b. If there are two variables, then totally we will get 2 power 2, 4 combinations. So, input symbols are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So, likewise, if we have three variables such as a, b and c, then we'll, we will have 2 power 3 combinations, 8 combinations. Here we have two variables such as a and b. So, we will have four combinations like this. So, now we have to write the min term for all the four combinations. What is min term? A product term that is under operation that contains all the variables. Here we have two variables such as a and b. Here the min term should contain both the variables such as a and b. Suppose if we have four variables such as a, b, c, d then min term should contain all the four variables. Okay. So, here we have two variables. So, min term contains two variables. So, here min term means we need to perform product operation and operation. In min term, 0 will be taken as complement of that variable whereas 1 will be considered as that variable. Here A means 0, B means 0. So, that can be written as a bar into B bar. 0 means A bar. B is 0. That means B bar. Here we need to perform under operation. So, this is dot operation. Next one is A is 0, B is 1. So, A is 0 means it can be written as A bar. B is 1 means B is 1. So, between this we, we have to perform under operation, product operation. Next A is 1, B is 0. So, this can be written as a b bar a dot b bar next 1 1 means this can be written as a b next let us see how we can represent min terms here 0 0 means decimal number 0 0 1 means decimal number 1 1 0 means decimal number 2 1 1 means decimal, decimal number 3 in order to represent min term we have to use small m small m Next here in the suffix we have to write this decimal number. So a bar b bar means 0. Next a bar b means a bar b means 1. Next a b bar means what is the decimal number 2. So m2. Next a b means decimal number 3. So m3. So small m. Small m represents uh, uh, that min term. And 0, 1, 2, 3 are nothing but positions. Okay. Uh, next, this is about what is a min term. Okay. Uh, a product term that is under operation that contains all the variables. Okay. Here the min term contain both the variables. Both the variables, both the variables, both the variables, both the variables. Now let us see what is max term. Max term means a sum term. Sum term means we need to perform R operation that contains all the variables. Okay. Here we are performing in min term product operation, whereas max term means we need to perform sum operation. Here in max term, 0 will be considered as the term, the term, okay. Whereas 1 will be considered as complement of the term. So 0 means complement of, 0 means that variable only, whereas 1 means complement of that variable. So, let us write the max term for 0, 0. So, 0 means we can write as A. We have to write the term, the term. Next, this is max term. So, we need to perform R operation. So, A plus 0 means, 0 means we have to write the term only. Next, 0, 1 combination. So, 0 means that variable only. 0 means that variable only. Next, 1 means we have to write complement of that variable. So, complement of B means B bar. So, we can write as B bar or B dash also. It is our choice. Okay. Next, next combination 1, 0. So, 1 means complement of this variable. So, that is A bar plus 
Why? Because this is max term. Zero means we have to write that variable only. B. Next one one means complement of A and complement of B. Now let's see how we can represent max term. Max term is represented with the help of capital M. Capital M. Position numbers are same. M zero, M one, M two, M three. Now let us take one example on the uh, min term as well as max term. Uh, let we have a function like this. Uh, yeah, yeah, let we have a boolean function like this. F of a b equal to f of a b equal to a bar b plus a bar b plus a b. So how we can represent this with the help of the min terms? Here what is uh, what is a bar b? A bar b means what? A bar b means the term is m one. What is the min term? M one. So we can write it as m one plus what is a b? A b means the min term is m three. M three. So this is also called as uh, this is called as sum of products. So which operation we are performing? Sum operation on the terms a bar b and a b. On a bar b, which operation we are performing? Product operation. On a b also we are performing product operation. Here min terms are used in SOP. SOP means sum of products. So plus means sum. Whereas a bar b means product, a b means product. So m one plus m three, m one plus m three. So we can write this as sigma m of one comma three. So sigma means we are performing some operation on one and three. So in the examination, we may get question on simplify the expression sigma m of one comma three. So here what is one? One means one means this m one min term. Whereas what is three? Three means this three min term. Likewise, let us uh, uh, let us see one more example on. Uh, Uh, the second one that is max terms so let we have an expression like this a plus b bar into a plus b bar into into a bar plus b bar a bar plus b bar so this is called as product of sum product of sum why because between a plus b bar and a bar plus b which operation we are performing product operation and on a and b bar we are performing plus operation On a bar and plus b bar, we are performing plus operation. So product of sum, product of sum. Uh, next, a plus b bar means how we can represent this one with the help of the max terms. A plus b bar means m one, m one, m one into a bar plus b bar means m three, m three, m three. So we can write this as pi m of one comma three. So pi means we are performing product operation, whereas sigma means we are performing sum operation, summation operation. So pi m of this capital M specifies that this is what max term, one comma three. So in the examination they may give question on simplify the expression pi m of one comma five comma seven comma eight likewise. Okay, then according to that we have to simplify that. So this is about min term and max term in. Boolean algebra